What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's, well, let's just start off. You know we need to talk. You guys know we need to have a conversation about what's going on right now. I don't even think I need to bring it up, but I'm just going to show you and you let me know. You put it down in the comments and tell me what you think. Just by pulling up the YouTube channel really quickly. Let's get this up real quick. Uh, really quickly, you can see today's video we talked about history is repeating. XRP Ripple insane price discovery. What did we expect to see happen? Last time we retested bottom support, we exploded 138%. Well, let's take a quick gander at what exactly is going on right now. Now, although we're not seeing a big movement within XRP, just take a little look. Tell me what you see is happening. Pretty substantial run, I'd say, much higher than where we've been in the past. Not to uh, spread any FOMO or fear of missing out on this because we have to let things play out first. How we close tonight will determine whether or not we're going to be buying in. But just look, Bitcoin is doing something that is incredible insane i haven't seen we haven't seen this since november 9th so this is huge this is huge for bitcoin and for cryptocurrency ethereum we saw a little hint at this this morning and here we are now playing out the rest of this market here cryptocurrency is starting to take off and i am getting very excited s p and i said that we'd be pretty bullish in february didn't i s p 500 looks interesting it seems like we're reversing out of this which is good don't get me wrong this is really good uh we opened pretty low today, which was interesting. We opened uh, higher and then fell immediately. And here we are starting to reverse or things are starting to change. So I don't know if we're going to see the correlation that we normally see within the S&P 500 with cryptocurrency. I don't know. We have to see how this plays out. Um, there's a chance now that because cryptocurrency is pretty much up like 9%, that maybe it's going to influence the S&P 500 to swing up higher. That'd be great. I mean, that's more money for us. But we do have to talk about things in depth very much so. What is the plan? How are we buying in and how are we, cap how are we capitalizing off these runs? We're currently at over $40,000. This is insane. XRP is at 63 cents. If we break this zone, we're so close. We're going to have a huge, huge buying opportunity. With that being said, guys, today's video is brought to us by Atari Token. Never in my life did I know this existed, but this is very cool. Uh, obviously, most of you should know what Atari is. This has been huge in my childhood with the game Pong and stuff like that. They're now entering the cryptocurrency space, creating Atari blockchain, their own mobile app, as well as creating a whole new metaverse, which is really cool. So more information, and I highly recommend it, uh, more information at the end of today's video. We'll talk about them, so definitely stick around for that. Otherwise, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Let's get to 61,000 subscribers, and let's dive into today's episode. So real quick, top 10 cryptocurrencies were up about 9% today. Insane, insane, insane. Uh, look at this like surge in price here. Ethereum's up 12.5%. Bitcoin's up 97 I think we hit the bottom, guys. Solana's up 13.3%. XRP's up 6.3%. Terra's up 8 Avalanche is up 12. We've called the bottom on here. We've been tracking it for quite some time now. I want to go back to our YouTube channel just to get a general overview of what exactly is going on because we have brought this up for quite some time now. It's been just such a long, played out consolidation standpoint. I understand it. I, I've heard you guys so many times in the comments. We get bored, but we've mentioned this on numerous occasions that we've pretty much hit the bottom for most of these cryptos or we're looking to hit the bottom. And as you can see here, we've hit it on numerous occasions, hitting this resistance, consolidating lower and lower and lower and at some point we needed to hit this bottom support level and allow us to swing back up so it was a matter of time before we saw that you can see we've drawn it on numerous occasions here how most of these cryptocurrencies tend to either a be retesting a top resistance or b have found some sort of bottom support the altcoins too uh we've also seen major consolidation so everything was pretty much in cahoots everything was either had extremely uh bullish sentiment to see a bullish bias to see a swing to the upside here or we were so undervalued that it was necessary to see a run or we've been consolidating uh, for the point where we needed to see another run or breakout in some sort of, you know, move. We were literally just talking about this today and yesterday. This sideways consolidation is need, needs to break and it will break. And here we are with the bullish run. So very excited to talk about this. So what we're looking at right now, uh, Ethereum is to start. If Ethereum closes its price exactly where it is right now, like today, if we close tonight, we have six and a half hours or six hours and 40 minutes left. If we can close tonight, um, you know, it'll probably be around seven o'clock, I believe. It's 1220. 
uh, six, yeah, uh, seven o'clock, seven p.m. If we can close tonight above this resistance, this downtrend here, we are buying in long. Doing so obviously on Bityard here, going right to Ethereum, which is right here, and we're putting in a long position, literally creating a you know market order, typing the amount of leverage we want, typing in the margin that we want, and then clicking buy long and capitalizing off the run, creating a stop loss in case we reverse lower. But it's that simple. Thing is, we have not broken through this pattern in such a long time. We've discussed this could be the bottom as we are now starting to reverse the pattern here we've hit a bottom and here we are maybe creating higher lows and higher highs in the continuation to the upside here so very exciting markets are seemingly being undervalued now this is not a swing back to the upside breakout to all-time highs this is a temporary consolidation pattern that's happening here as we slowly start to head back up to i think 3600 dollars on ethereum but if we can close where we are right now this is a very big sign of potential buy-in same thing with xrp um not really much to be said here. We've been consolidating out for quite some time now. If we can close this, because here we are retesting this downtrend. We needed us to fill in the gap here, which we've pretty much done, and hopefully we'll get that answer today, but we'll see. Because if you know we consolidate back down within XRP, I'm not touching it. So it depends at seven o'clock. If we can close above here, close at 66 cents, close at 67 cents, close at 68 cents, then we will buy in and leverage this to the upside here. But at the pattern it's going right now, things look promising, but it hasn't given us a confirmation yet. Yet. And as a conservative trader, we have to wait for the confirmation. So let this play out. If we can close above here, we'll buy in long. If we close below here, we'll obviously short. There's a good chance today we'll either break above and close or we'll just consolidate back down. We'll see what happens here. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's that simple. It's a very easy trade. Same thing with Ethereum. Ethereum just has to close exactly where it is for us to buy in long. Same thing with Bitcoin. Um, for the first time in months, this is the crazy thing. Look at how long this consolidation pattern has been. Let me just draw this on. This is huge for us. And I'm very excited to see this. Wow. 88 days of consolidation, 88 days. Let that sink in. Three months of sideways movement. Lo sorry, not sideways, lower high movement where prices have continuously set lower lows and lower highs have finally broken through our downtrend. Now, hopefully we don't just wick back down. That would suck if we wicked back down. But as long as we manage to close this exactly where we are at 39K, 39,930, we're good. As long as we close above $39,000, we're good. And we will be buying in and leveraging long on Bityard, going to Bitcoin right here, creating a market order with the amount of leverage that we want. And then, you know, typing in the amount of margin, da 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 da, -da and then clicking buy long. And we'll be using, uh, you know, 10,000. That's a lot of money, but we'll be using a 10x leverage. Usually that should be a thousand here. It's giving me 20,000, but yes, you could leverage this thumb to the upside here. Very easy to do so. Uh, creating that market order, that's what you gotta remember. And it's that simple, creating a stop loss in case we dead lower. That's in case we continue to head up higher here and close above this downtrend. Cause this is the first time where we're starting to see, although not, it is promising, but not complete just yet. Cause we have wicked above it in the past here. We have to confirm closing above there for us to say, okay, we're bullish now. We hit a bottom and it's time to swing back up. And you can see, I believe it's with, we showed XRP in the morning, how on the weekly charts here that this seems like a bottom support that probably is not going to break. And it seems like that's playing out right now. So this might be a long-term bull move uh, with XRP. You can see with Bitcoin here jumping to its weekly, you can see how it's also very close to a bottom. Not only are we intertwined with weekly moving average support, which is holding the price up here, and it looks like we're just starting to break out of the falling wedge. This is huge swings coming, and I'm getting very excited, but you can see it's also at a bottom support that comes this way across that seems to be holding pretty well. So I'm very excited to see how these markets play out. I believe they are going to be bullish, but we'll know by 7 p.m. tonight what exactly we're going to do. S&P, who the heck knows? Um, I'd like to see us close today high higher than where we were, uh, you know, where we opened. I'd like us to end in a positive note, but we'll see how this plays out. Regardless, cryptocurrency is moving. Hopefully that influences the S&P, but it's up for debate. Otherwise, guys, I do want to talk more about Atari Token with you. All right, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Atari Token for sponsoring today's episode. As with all crypto projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, Atari, the company behind the classic video games like Pac-Man, has granted a license to ICICB to launch a new open world casino experience that will allow players to explore a beautiful environment and engage in several casino games. Now, the new open world casino experience will be part of Atari's use cases for the Atari Token. 
And as most know, the metaverse has been a pretty hot topic over the last few months, and it describes a virtual reality that combines aspects of online gaming, social media, augmented, or even virtual reality, and even cryptocurrencies. Now, Atari itself is a widely recognizable brand, and it was a pioneer when it comes to home video game consoles, arcade games, and even home computers. Now, the company, as you might remember, is behind the classics such as Pong and Asteroids, and Atari's native token is called the Atari Token, also known as ATRI, and the token was first launched on the Ethereum network as an ERC-20 token, but is now available on several other blockchains, including Binance Smart Chain, as well as Polygon and Phantom. Now guys, the Atari token is a decentralized cryptocurrency that Atari aims to help become a universal means of payment for the video game industry that will allow developers and publishers to gain new monetization options while bringing smart contracts and more into the gaming universe. Now guys, Atari's goal with the cryptocurrency is to make it available for as many platforms as possible, starting with its own open world cryptocurrency casino. Now the token distinguishes itself by already having a growing network of real world use cases that allow users to not just hodl onto their Atari. Now the Atari token is based on a decentralized system that provides users with both security and trust and has been listed on multiple trading platforms, including Bitcoin.com exchange, PancakeSwap, HitBTC, Hotbit, IndoX, and Uniswap to boost its liquidity. And ATRI or Atari token works with smart contracts to facilitate the execution of tasks and as it is based on blockchain technology, all of its transactions can be securely and efficiently verified. Now, while the token will at first be launched with a centralized system behind it, it's going to be decentralized over time with a committee of at least 12 independent individuals being established in the future to help the community reach consensus. Now, with the use of the ATRI token, ICICB will launch under the license from Atari, a new open world metaverse experience focused on an open world casino where players can just chat with each other or gamble as they please while exploring the game maps. And the whole metaverse is run by the ICICB group, who is designing and exploiting the game independently of the Atari, who only acts as a licensor of the Atari games and brands. Now, the metaverse casino experience will include beautiful scenery and various casino games, including roulette, poker, blackjack, and even slots. Now, these casino games are only going to be a part of the customizable multiplayer experience being made available. So guys, for more information about the Atari token and the metaverse, make sure to check out the links in the description down below. Otherwise, huge shout out to Atari Token for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.